Toolset allows you to easily create lists of posts where information is dynamic and comes from custom post types, custom fields and taxonomies. Like this list of gyms for example. But if your site has even slightly more information, you have an additional challenge. How to allow visitors to quickly and easily find the exact content they are looking for? No problem! With Toolset you can easily add front-end filters to your list of posts. Look! On our directory site about gyms, visitors can quickly find the gym they want by applying the filters. Let's say we are interested in gyms that offer aerobic classes. We select aerobic gym type and here they are. We see only gyms that offer aerobic. We can further narrow our search criteria to show only top rated gyms. We set the minimal rating to 4 and above and you see, the gym with a 3 star rating is gone. Creating such views with Toolset is super easy. You have complete control over both the set of filters and over your design. Let me show you. Our search will display gyms. On our site, gyms are posts based on the gym post type. Each gym has a set of custom fields and taxonomies which we will use as front-end filters. We created these custom fields and the gyms post type using Toolset. Now let's create our custom search. We create a new page and give it a title. We add a new view block. We need to enable the search option which allows us to add filters to our view. We want to present our results in a grid so we can use the default option for the output. And we select our view to output posts from the gym's post type. Ok, we now have an empty view. As you can see it consists of two main parts. The view search is where you add filters and controls for your custom search. The view output is where you design the appearance of your search results. To make it perfectly clear, let me show you these sections again on a finished page. Look, the upper area represents the view search. And the bottom area represents the view output which are all posts meeting the search criteria. Let's design the results part first. Once we have something to display, it will be easier to check if our filters work correctly. We can start by outputting something really simple, an image for each listed gym post. We design one item inside this designing area and the output is replicated for all other listed posts. Look, we insert a toolset image block. Yes, we want to use dynamic sources so that we can output an image coming from a custom field. The custom field we need in this case is called gym photo. And you see, my whole view got auto-populated with all my posts showing an image for each of them. Nice! Now let's add a gym name which is stored in the post title. We add a toolset heading block and again make it dynamic. This time we select the post title with a link. It makes our heading a clickable link leading to the single gym page. Ok, let's also display our gym type which in our case is stored as a custom taxonomy. For this, we can use the toolset single field block. And finally, let's also show one of our custom fields. We insert the single field block again, but this time set it to a custom field. We select the group of fields for gyms and then the rating custom field. Ok, our view already looks pretty nice. Now let's add some filters for our custom search. We add a text search filter first. It will allow finding a gym by a name. We can change the label. And we are ready to add more filters. This time let's select the gym type which is a custom taxonomy. Let's add one more filter and this time choose the one coming from a custom field. In our example, the rating field is a great choice. For now, let's use the defaults. Ok, before we test our custom search, we need one more thing. A submit button. And let's also arrange our filters in a 3 column layout. For this, we simply add a toolset grid block. Select the 3 column option. And drag all our filters inside it. Ok, let's preview the page 
and test our filters. We choose aerobic as the gym type, hit submit, and our view shows only gyms offering such classes. Cool! Now that our search works, let's customize it a bit. First, let me add a clear button for resetting the search results. Now, let me show you how to customize your filters. By default, your filter reflects the field type that you set up using Toolset. In our case, the rating field is a number field, and that's why we can see a free text field on the front end. Let's make it more user friendly to show a set of predefined values. We switch our filter to a drop down list and then manually add a set of values. We need one more step, which is to combine our new set of values with the right comparison. Greater than or equal is the comparison we need to use to return items with a rating equal or about the selected one. Alright, our filter is set, let's preview and test our page again. We narrow down our results to the rating of 5 and above. And it works fine. And let's choose a different option. It also works as expected. Now we can further customize our search. One of the great options for custom searches is using the Ajax refresh so that the results update immediately without reloading the page. We use the block navigation, select the view search block, and under custom search we select the Ajax option. Yes, it's as simple as that. And now your users don't need to press the submit button to see the results. Nice! Of course, you can customize the appearance of your whole search page to your liking.